In this video, we'll be converting between degrees and radians. So to do that, we need to use a conversion factor. Recall that we have 360 degrees in a circle, and we have two pi radians in a circle. So those two would be equivalent. That also means that 180 degrees is equal to pi, or pi radians. So for every pi radian that we have, we have 180 degrees. So this will be the conversion factor we'll use to convert my degree measures here to radian measure. So for A, I'm going to take 120 degrees, and I'm going to multiply that by pi over 180. So that will give me 120 degrees pi over 180 degrees. So I'd like to simplify this if I can. I know that 60 will divide into 120 twice. And I know that 60 will divide into 180 three times. So now this would be in pi radians because the degrees on the top and bottom, as you might remember from grade 10, units on top and bottom cancel. So we have 2 thirds pi radians or 2 pi over 3 radians. We use that same conversion factor for 240. We have 240 times pi over 180. Moving to the final step in this case, again, because we know that 240 and 180 are both divisible by 60, I would have 4 pi over 3 radians in this case. For 450, Again, the same procedure. I'd multiply by pi over 180. I know that 90 will go into 455 times, and it will go into 180 twice. So in this case, I'll have 5 pi over 2 radians. And my last example there, 660 degrees. To move my conversion factor out of the way here. Again, I would take 660, multiply by pi over 180. I know that 60 will go into 660 11 times, so I'd have 11 pi over 3 for 660 degrees. And remember, these would also be radian measured. 